have different positions on Israel, we have different experiences, we come from different places, and we could have a spirited debate, we could all go home and we could say we went to this event and we didn't agree with a damn thing anybody said. And that's okay, because we live in a country, we live in a democracy, we all have different opinions. But when you start calling people like us anti-Semitic, you distract from real violent anti-Semitism in America. Yes. When, yes. when are the natural allies of the Jewish people who also are black and Arab. This <laughs> it is a disservice to do. And for our Jewish family who doesn't know how to, how to feel about this disagreement on Israel, the question to ask yourself is this. There has to be a, or, or maybe not the question, but the distinction that has to be made between feeling uncomfortable and unsafe. We don't make you unsafe. We might make you uncomfortable. I'm not going to deny that. So, we, and I've been in the same position as Ilhan Omar many times. This idea of whether we are using tropes or anti-Semitic tropes. The question is, are there, being, are there tropes being used against us? The way in which we have framed Ilhan Omar is through an Orientalist trope that basically says that we as Muslims are inherently anti-Semitic. So that we got, basically we're anti-Semitic until proven otherwise. Right. We are guilty until proven innocent. So when Ilhan Omar did the first tweet about, it's all hey, about man. the Benjamins. The, 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 the scrutiny and the far reach and the, it was clear to me what she was saying. It was clear to a lot of people, including a lot of Jews, what she was saying, and they didn't say anything to say. We cannot deny that in America, AIPAC and the Israeli lobby have influence on our government. Jews to exist, they don't want Jews to exist, 
They don't want the black people to exist. They don't, they don't want any of us to exist. And in fact, our existence in America as black people, as Palestinians, as Jews, as trans people, as other marginalized people, just our existence is an act of resistance. Members of an oppressed community, absolutely, 100%. 